Now, this illustration illustrates an angle or U pull in accordance with the NEC uh, 314.28A2. Now, notice uh, the angle pull. A good method here is to take uh, the conduit that you see at the top, multiply it by six, and then about uh, from side to side, as you see there, or from center to center, uh, however you're making your measurement, you come up with 18 inches. Now, based upon a three-inch conduit, that distance would allow you to pull the largest conductors permitted in that raceway and make a 90-degree turn and make that angle pull. The U pull down at the bottom, then you're doing the same thing. You're having the separation so that you can come in and make two 90-degree bends on your uh, conductors into the conduit. So it's either an angle pull or you pull, and it's six times the uh, largest conduit plus the other conduits on a wall if they're present, such as the illustration to the right illustrates. And notice we have three and a half, two inch, and a one inch. So uh, the code requires that we take six times the largest, three and a half, and add that to the remaining uh, uh, con uh, conduits on that wall. So you would have 21 inches plus two plus one, giving us 24 inches. But now with this uh, illustration, you're going to have 24 by 24. So you're going to have a horizontal and length uh, type, and then you're going to have a, um, a vertical length there, and they both have to be 24. Now notice a good measurement here so that you are able to pull the largest conduit in there, if or excuse me, the largest conductor if necessary. Then notice it'd be six times that three and a half, which would be 21 as you see uh, measured there. And usually it's from side, uh, from the top to the left-hand side is what the uh, electricians will do. And then notice the next is two inches times six is 12. The, the next conduit is one inch, so one times six is six inches. Now you can pull that. Now notice the EMT coming in below, uh, that's just illustrating that if you're pulling number 12 wire, then you don't have the same kind of radius bend uh, because, again, if you were pulling number 10 in that EMT, you can still uh, make joints there or even uh, make a bend with it real easy. Just with your finger, you could make the bend. Where the others, you got to kind of take both hands in some cases, uh, depending on the size of the conductor, pull through the conduit to get your... Uh, bend. So uh, this illustration is showing an angle or you pull uh, type configuration of the conductors and sizing the box to uh, enclose them uh, and allow the bends without damaging the insulation. And that's what this figure uh, is illustrating.